welcome to the video. Yes, I did get a new Chemex coffee maker for Christmas and I'm very happy with it. If you're an expert in Chemex coffee, please don't judge. Uh, I'm learning very much on the go here, but it tastes pretty good and it's given me a little bit of fuel to make this video. This year, I wanted to share a little bit of more kind of around the process of making photos, uh, both getting out there and shooting them and the pre, the planning and the thought process that goes behind making them. I thought I'd kick this off because I did this really awesome shoot between Christmas and New Year where I wasn't actually expecting a majorly good outcome, but it turned out to be so good and really just reminded me that despite weather, despite the conditions or places that you might have been to before, it's always worth going and just trying to make a slightly different slant on it. I was due to go out to Wales for the Brecon Beacons, weather terrible really, really bad, not worth it at all. So my plan was to head into London, but I just couldn't quite get my head motivated or inspired for something new to shoot. Um, I didn't have a huge amount of time that day, but I was doing a little bit of scrolling on Instagram, of course, and I came across a fellow creator, MK Captured, I think his name is Mike. Um, thank you for the inspiration, Mike. Really awesome photo. And it was this set of images that he posted that really sparked my inspiration to get out and shoot the Shard. The Shard is a building in London, one of my favorites, but I have shot it time and time again. However, his images made me think, mm, I could really get out there and work some different angles on it um, and create a nice set for myself with the added bonus that it did still have its Christmas lights installation on it. So I thought that'd be pretty nice to shoot. So I'm gonna take you along. I didn't manage to capture the full vlog that I wanted to, and this is something I, I'm vowing to myself and to you to improve on for 2024 is to capture more uh, behind the scenes things and explanations of how I'm taking my photos and what I'm thinking about in terms of compositions, angles, lenses, kit, etc. But I did capture a few bits, so I'm going to do a talk over and share these images with you because as I said, really, really pleased with the outcome and I've been posting a few of them on my Instagram as well. So little plug you can go check that out as well and i hope this gives you a bit of inspiration to go out there and shoot despite the weather despite the location somewhere you've shot before um and yeah it's gonna be a great 2024 can't wait to get it going um enjoy the voiceover and i will look forward to seeing you in the next video so here we go straight into london the shard looking mighty fine as ever with lots of clouds moving across it for a nice mood picked up my tripod to make sure i could get some long exposures and headed straight to that first location of inspiration love the leading lines quite a quirky angle got a bit of color in the sky and managed to get a really nice wide angle 16 millimeter shot of the shard there i headed a little bit further back along this walkway and i was actually really pleased with this composition using the pepsi billboard and this wall as a leading line to frame the shard nicely then headed straight over London Bridge. Of course, you can't walk over there without a shot of Tower Bridge itself. And the, the clouds were looking super moody and ominous. And I really liked this frame where I managed to pick out the pink boat as a little bit of a color contrast. After this, headed down underneath the London Bridge itself. And this is really cool staircase, which I've used before. And I was super pleased with this frame because there's some lovely color in the sky and waited very, very patiently for that figure to walk through at just the right time. It was very busy, so it did take a while, but it was well worth the wait, I liked to think after this headed down onto the river bank itself although i remember my tripod massive fail forgot my nd filters so i was massively pushing my settings as much as possible to get as long exposure as i could kind of okay with these shots they're not bad it looked better to my eye but pretty pleased to pull out a little bit of color and you can see i only managed to get half a second pushing my iso as low as i could once the light started to drop here it looked actually a lot better and i was more pleased with these shots from the evening i used peter my shooting buddy to frame that shot nicely as well as one without him and you got a little bit of a mix of lights coming on and the color in the sky but when the top of the shard there really popped off picked out the 90 millimeter and got the detail of those photos nicely then it was for the blue hour and i really love these images i think they're probably my favorite of the evening it just looks so nice and you've got to wait for that real sweet spot where it doesn't get too dark you've still got a bit of blue in the sky i love the red on the top of the shard that was my favorite color but of course i got a few combinations there to, just in case i missed one headed back down to the bridge after this and these are my absolute banger shots if you like and i love the christmas tree on top of the shard that was my favorite composition there of the night just under the bridge using the staircase at night and i hope to be doing more of this in 2024 this uh, summarizes um, my emotions of the evening super happy sitting on a wall with my tripod in front of the shard what more could you want from a photo shoot really hope you enjoyed this and i look forward to seeing you in the next video